Greetings, my dears, in love and light. I'm Nikki Sutton. When I reincarnate next time, can I reincarnate far in the future? Right, I've had a question from Jana, and this is via email, this one. And it goes like this. Hi, Nikki, I just want to understand something about reincarnation. So when you die, can your soul choose to reincarnate in the past or in the future? So for example, if I died, could I reincarnate a thousand years from now? So being a past life regressionist, I've regressed people or progressed people into different lifetimes in the past, far in the past, and even ones that could be considered far in the future. Now, people also regress to lifetimes on alien worlds in other dimensions, lifetimes where they don't have bodies and things like that. By the way, you can have an online past life regression and future life progression session with me if you go to nikkisutton.com. I thought I'd just mention that. So, theoretically, when you reincarnate, because time is just an illusion, it's not really a thing. We perceive it as running along in a line while we are here on Earth. This is the way the human mind is built. We perceive that what we have done is in the past and we have memories of it. And what is coming up is in the future and we haven't done it yet, yet we can imagine it. Us imagining it is us manifesting it. But really it's all happening at the same time, has already happened, there is no time. Imagine it all as uh, everything that ever has is or will occur, all as a big ball of stuff, ever changing, even in the past is changing, and quantum physics is starting to verify that or hypothesize that even the past changes. Now that can mess with your mind. That helps to manifest too. If you're trying to manifest something, it helps if the past changes to help accomplish what you're trying to manifest. So all of it gets written, rewritten, rewritten in lots of different probabilities and possibilities. But anyway, your higher self gets to put you wherever it wants. Because for the higher self, time isn't a thing. Where the higher self is, where there's no such thing as space either as in distance but never mind i do have a video on that i'm not going to get too confusing on you where the higher self is or what the higher self is it doesn't experience time it can project personalities project you into various realities different worlds different times anything so there's infinite possibilities of where you can incarnate or reincarnate. Now, your soul, the personality that's going round and round and round, belongs to your higher self, theoretically. And you may be on a bit of a mission to have a whole bunch of lifetimes here on Earth. You may have started off here. And then you may want to continue here and then move on somewhere else. So you may intend for yourself to have a certain amount of lifetimes here, and some may be far in the future of Earth, some may have been in the past. But it's also worth remembering that what you want now in this lifetime may not be what your soul wants. Your soul may want you to have a series of incarnations approximately around this time on Earth. You may even be incarnating here twice at one time. That's the theory behind a twin flame anyway. Those parts of a soul that reunite and fall in love they don't have to be romantic partners actually. They could be siblings or friends, someone you feel you have an amazing connection with, but really you're two incarnations of the same soul. It's definitely a thing. So there may be another part of you here right now, incarnating at the same time. <laughs> That's a fun one. But you can access and feel for these other lifetimes anyway. As I say, you can have regression or progression through hypnosis and experience a bit of what these experiences are like, what these lifetimes are like. In addition, during meditation, you can set the intention, all powerful intention, to be able to access some other lifetimes. When you set that intention, 
you can start to feel for these other personalities that you have been or will be. You may not jump into them and experience them just like that, although it is possible if you're deep enough in trance. You may just get a sense, feel like you are someone or doing something. You may feel like a boy if you're a girl. You may feel like you're a hundred if you're only 25. You may feel different. You may feel like you have a different name. You may feel like you're on a different planet. You may feel like you have other skills. And then these traits start to bleed through into your lifetime. And you can become these things a little bit if you allow it. You can access these other personalities of yours, of your souls. So, yes indeed, I'd say, my friend, that you can reincarnate perhaps a thousand years from now, if your soul wishes it. Because time is all flexible and bendy. It's not really a thing. Your soul transcends space and time. Your higher self can do pretty much what it wants, being an infinite being and all that. So have trust in your higher self that you'll go where you're supposed to go next, which is best for you, either in the past, now again, or a thousand years in the future. So I hope you found that helpful on the nature of reincarnation and when you can reincarnate. And remember to click subscribe if you're not already a subscriber to receive regular spiritual inspiration on your journey through life. And that bell button too for notifications. Because we're raising the mass vibration together. So go now in love and peace.